Hello and welcome to today's episode of Bar Cart Branding. Um, I am so excited to be here today and talk to you about one of my favorite little tips in graphic design when working with fonts. Um, if you've read my other posts on Bar Cart Branding, you know that I love to use fun fonts within my own brand and one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was how to actually use your font glyphs. The word glyphs is basically just another way of saying an alternate character style within your font pack. Um, so let's hop over real fast before I show you how to do this to Creative Market. So I get lots of my fonts through Creative Market. Um, one of the main times that you will probably even want to use font glyphs is when you're getting these really pretty like handwritten style calligraphy-esque fonts. Um, and you'll see in these advertising promo images, this is like the main version or this is like the main image that you see of this specific font called Freestyle, which I'm really into right now. Um, but if you look at this one, then you can see like, okay, these letters have these pretty swashes or like, I don't know, I'm just going to call it a swash. <laughs> or just these pretty strokes that come from the letters. And so how does this H have that? Um, as opposed to if you see when I just typed in how to use font glyphs, this H doesn't look like that H. So how do I get that H to pop up? Um, you can see all of these images, like they start with these, um, these pretty strokes for on the beginning of the word, and then they end the word like that. So how in the world do we make that happen? Um, I'm going to show you that today in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so the way you do it is um, you want to go up when you're in Illustrator. I've already typed this out, so I want to have a graphic that, is, that says how to use font glyphs. You come up here to Window, and you go to Type. Oh, sorry. And then you look for glyphs right here. That is going to pull it up over here in your toolbar. Um, if you have this already over here, if you don't, it'll probably just pop it up in the middle of your editing um, screen. But I have glyphs automatically added into my toolbar so that way I can easily access them at any time. So now you can see um, my entire font all of the different character styles. You can see I'm trying to make this bigger. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can make these bigger. Okay, this is about as big as I can make it. Um, so you can see that there's all these different character styles for our different letters. There's this, you, now you can see where these like pretty um, strokes are that um, you can introduce a letter with, the ones that have it on the end of a letter. Um, you can see even just different style letters in general. So like here, I don't want this giant S right here going into my next word. So I would even want to edit this letter to be a little bit more simple in style. So you can see this font actually comes with both um, really pretty letters that have these swashes and strokes on them or just more of a simple style like this and even this F unless I put a space in between it but the F is kind of intense there too so I still might even want to um, edit that and use more of a simple style letter so it doesn't look too too dramatic right there and so really all you do is you highlight whatever letter that you want to change and you look in your glyphs uh, window over here and you just double click on whatever letter style you want to change it to. A lot of fonts come with um, tons of options here. This one doesn't have a bunch of extra 
like swashes and pretty um, lines and whatnot, but a lot of handwritten and calligraphy style fonts do to kind of add to the look. Um, so, and you can access all of those types of styles within your glyphs panel. So quickly for here, I want to show you what this can look like with the swash look. Let me find the H. Oh, here we go. How to see how pretty that is. The original letter was pretty too, but this is just a way that you can um, kind of be in control of the full look. Now you can see this word down here where it says glyphs. I think that looks crazy right now. Like all the dramatic letters are in there. Absolutely does not look good. Um, and this is one of the cases that you absolutely um, want to use your glyphs because you you might love this font but think whoa this word looks terrible I can't use it actually you can you just have to come in here and um, find the alternate style character so let's find the L I, let's find the Y and the P I actually, um, I actually like the way the H looks there, so I'm going to leave that. And let's see if we can find a G that has um, a pretty stroke at the beginning of the layer. I don't know if they have that. They might not. I don't see that. So this doesn't have... Um, it doesn't look like they have the G that has the like the the pretty stroke coming from the left side to begin a word. So I'd either have to use this G or come down here and use the more simple G. And I think I'm going to use a simple G because I think the other one just looks too busy in this design. Um, but I kind of like the S, so I'm going to leave that there. And, or we can try and see what this S would look like. That one's cute too. I like that. Let's see what this would look like if I did an alternate character style here. Uh, eh, I'm just going to leave it back to its simple version. So I really just come in here and I play until I find something that I like. So I think that this looks much better than its original, um, than its original version that you saw at the beginning. It looks much cleaner and prettier. And now you can see that I have accessed my glyphs to kind of change the style and make this um, just look a lot more visually appealing. So that's exactly how you do it. Easy as pie, right? And um, just to review, you hit window, go to type, and hit glyphs to show that glyph panel and actually have your the font that you want to edit selected so that way it'll pull up that font's glyphs. Now a key thing to remember is not every single font comes with glyphs. Um, you can see these you would know if it does come with alternates if it's going to say it within your font set. So this one says stylistic alternatives or alternates and um, contextual alternates. Those all are words that are meaning, hey, clue you in, this font comes with some pretty stylistic characters that you can um, edit your, edit the look of. So anyways, I hope this was super helpful. If you have any questions, just pop a comment in the comment box below this post and uh, I will see you next time. All right.